Hi, Boss Lifers. Today we're installing our subfloor and framing. Come on. Ease is doing polka dots because if you rope the glue, it doesn't stick as well. It's similar to laying windshield glass or something where you have to have that adhesive standing up so that you have full adhesion to the window. Uh, I don't think we need to mansplain how to glue. So Issa's just gluing in polka dots for better adhesion. We're not going this thick all the way up under the pedals because we still need clearance to drive the bus. So we're only going one inch there, which we already have pre-cut out and we'll glue with this. down into it. Let's wait to glue down our floor. Every inch has weight. Our floor is so flat. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Anderson? Oh, it's great. It's no longer cold. <laughs> yeah, for real. I bet it's hot now. We needed this when we camped in here in the winter, but now it's really hot. And now the, the heat is staying in here. Are you sliding? Yeah. Wow, those really are skater shoes. I'll put it back. Oh my God. I almost thought you were gonna go out the door. Tracing our cutouts or stairs. You took a piece of cardboard and just kind of squished it up in here and then just cut along, shoved in by the edges, marked it, and then cut it with scissors. And it's perfect. Now we're ready to cut. How exciting, isn't it? How exciting!
We're using a level to find the center of where we want a framing strap to go. So as long as that line hits the center of these boards, that's how we're doing it. So today we're going to work on the bottom row of framing and it will be our last. So we finished the ceiling and we finished the walls, we just got to do the floor framing. We're going to go ahead and trim all this extra spray foam off and show you what we're doing. Now for our block spacers, we're cutting the strips we just cut to four inches. I don't know if you can see that. Now, let's get to more cutting. Okay, so last you saw us, we were working on the strapping over there, but we had to stop because we wanted to build these boxes first for the wheel wells. And this is how we did it. Oh. That's what I call finesse. Oh, hey! We did it. Hope and I are putting our second set of wheel well boxes together. We already did the first set and now we are just duplicating what we did the first time, but for the other side.
yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how we did our boxes. Um, so now back to the strapping. So yes, we looked at the boxes so we knew where to stop the strapping as to integrate it with the wall. And so some plywood is gonna be attached here above the box. We have these loosely on here so that we can put spray foam in it later on. Our wall will get attached like that. See, it passes the chair rail, so no thermal bridging. Our last screw for framing. Ugh. We did it. So we have one, two, three for the walls under the windows. And we put, we used, instead of using two by fours because they were too curvy, we used plywood, three fourths inch all around. And we only doubled it up on the walls just to clear the chair rail. But it's done. And now we need to figure out some wiring issues for the brake lights over here, but um, we're done. Now we're ready for spray foam. Looks great. Yeah, Man. It is. What I'm most proud of out of this project is how satisfying this little box is. We put the hole to access it right through the O of the floor. There's our gas tank. It's a little dark in there, but if you so, have a boss, you so, know. So when we laid the floor down, I guess it shifted. Or so, our measurements were off, but yeah. No, it shifted. You can see it. And so it created this lip here. And yeah, it actually worked out in our favor. It really did. I'm most proud of these boxes. These are really cool. Too bad we're too worried about insulation. That'd be awesome secret storage. I wish our box was matched. That would have been more satisfying, but I'm not mad at all. Besides, it's not gonna matter if they match or not because they're gonna be we're gonna covered. Paint yeah. them anyways, yeah. So the water, water seal it all up. All right, we're gonna use kittles and further seal our subfloor from any moisture. Let's get started.
Good. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Again. Oh and who knows, that might be the very next clip. Oh my god, I've been hitting this lamp all day while we're laying this subfloor. But hey, we got good lighting.